good news, everybody. You're getting your She-Ra movie. Kind of. <laughs> not, no, it's not the She-Ra movie. Kind of, sort of. Uh, hey, guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And we're going to talk about uh, N.D. Stevenson. The artist formerly known as Noel Stevenson. Yeah, showrunner of She-Ra. Uh, getting a second chance at getting Nimona done as an animated feature. Now, this is an interesting situation because Nimona was optioned by Fox by Blue Sky Studios. Right. And which was bought by Disney. Which was bought by Disney. And they shut down production on the movie. I guess they were like 70 to 75% done with the Blue Sky version of the movie. So when you told me that Netflix was going to resuscitate it, I thought, well, they'll just pick up where Blue Sky left off and put the money into finishing it. That would make the most sense. No, they're completely rebuilding the movie from the ground up uh, with the animation studio that gave us Sausage Party. Yay. So many jokes that could be made that I'm not going to make. But, uh, <laughs> anyway, we'll, we'll talk about this. We'll be completely objective because Nimona is its own thing. Yes, we say make new things. That's yeah. something new. Yeah, Nimona, um, I've read the webcomic. I, I don't think it was that bad. Um, now, the art style is is very, very different from the webcomic. A lot of comments are, oh, God, thank God they fixed the shitty art. I'm it, sorry, but I'm just quoting what people who are saying, yep. and it, the art style kind of sucks. Sorry. It, it was it was Stevenson's first webcomic, which was kind of kind of weird uh, how this happened, and I don't know the full story, but uh, uh, Stevenson did Nimona while in college, as I understand it, and had a publishing deal pretty much uh, waiting for them when they got done, and uh, Nimona wound up, you know. On the New York Times bestseller list, which yeah, you know easily that's something that's easily cheated. done. We've discussed at length, right? But Nimona also led to Stevenson getting on you know Disney animated series, and then eventually getting Shira, and then uh, it seemed like the rug got pulled out from underneath them on multiple occasions because we had Nimona get canceled, and then Lumberjanes got canceled. Everything got canceled, but now... And, and contrary to what they like to say, and some people on Twitter believe, uh, Stevenson was not the, the the person that was behind Lumberjanes. That is true. That is a that is a, uh, a huge misunderstanding. Part of the team. Part of the yes. team that worked on that. Anyway, we'll, we'll talk about this, because I, I think it's really interesting to see Netflix pick up uh, an abandoned movie. I'm just really surprised it's it's they're redoing the whole thing. So questions. So the art we're looking at here is from Blue Sky. No, I think this, this is, is a new sausage I think this party. Is the new People. version, I think. Yeah. Okay, because this actually looks a lot, lot better. It doesn't look bad. I'm going to be completely honest. It doesn't look bad. Like, again, make new things. Now, there's a difference between appropriating a well known franchise and ruining the hell out of it and then making your own thing. And we have been saying that, that She Ra, and actually, if you see the original version she had pitched as She Ra, it was like She Ra. That was what was weird when you came back and saw it after the fact. It actually was very, it was in their style, but very, it was more She-Ra than what we got, for sure. Uh, the story notes had them being like sisters, her and Katra. It was very, um, it was very in the vein of the original show. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Uh, I think that one person at Netflix that, you know, had an agenda happened. Well, that's the thing, too. This is coming from Netflix now and not coming from uh, Disney-owned Blue Sky. So we'll, we'll talk about this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, over 262,000 subs. Woo! Thank you for the support. We do talk about the animation industry. We have uh, dunked on She-Ra and the Princesses of Power on multiple occasions. And I want to be clear. The only reason we really took Pot Shots at the show uh, as much as we did is because it was an existing franchise. And it wasn't even... It was the, completely changed. It was completely changed, but it wasn't even the fact that they made changes to the show. I mean, I, I do like the new CGI He-Man. They made mm -hmm. changes to that as well. But they fundamentally kind of destroyed the uh, essence of the character. And then they they went to out to the fandom uh, using the media. Before it even came out. Before it even came out, preemptively attacked fans. And and that's never a good look. And I don't know how much of that, you know, Stevenson had a hand in or if it was just the marketing people at DreamWorks or whatever the deal was. Um, it was a deal breaker for a lot of classic fans. And that's when I stepped in because I'm like, oh, hell no. Yeah. Not liking the new look doesn't make you an istophobic whatever. I'm like, no, no, you sit down and shut up. No. Had they let Stevenson do do their own show, uh, we probably would have got more like this, but it sounds like that She-Ra basically was a show they wanted to do with a She-Ra coat of paint on it. So uh, now we'll at least have something new. Whether you like it or don't like it, 
it's still something new. Yeah, so in a case like that, you can judge it differently, I think, than taking an existing franchise. I mean, there's a reason we don't- Because of the baggage. Right, right. There's a reason we don't talk about, you know, people are like, oh, why don't you talk about all these other shows or, you know, dunk on this show or that show or whatever. I'm like, well, in case of like, you know, Steven Universe or something, like it's its own thing. Yeah. You either love it or hate it. And I can't really comment on it too much because, it, again, if it was like Steven Universe was like the reboot of Transformers or something, I'd be like, what the hell are Rock Lords? You know, oh, the Rock Lords are all female now and they merge together and form giant females. You yeah, know, I'd be like, be what like, the hell? But I have to, I, the, the the big question here we must ask is, uh, will there be uh, sleepovers? Will there be a best friend squad? And will there be prom? <laughs> there has to be prom. I don't remember if the webcomic had prom. I think this was pre-prom. This was an early Tumblr. Anyway, uh, coming from Cartoon Brew, Nimona gets new release date as Netflix acquires the long-awaited sci-fi epic. Long-awaited is pushing it a little bit. I mean, most people didn't even know or care. Most people didn't even know this existed, right? Um, now, what's interesting is uh, Stevenson and company just went on record, you know, slamming Netflix uh, a couple of weeks and ago. And DreamWorks. And DreamWorks. Now, it probably would have been more DreamWorks about the low pay for streaming mm -hmm. stuff. Now, maybe the deal's different for a movie, but... Uh, well, let's hope that Stevenson uh, leveraged that to get the team on it more money. Right, right. So, again, they're not they're not picking up production from the Blue Sky version, which I'd heard people that saw it said it was actually pretty okay. Um, they're starting over. So seven years after Fox Animation announced the sci-fi epic Nimona, the off-delayed off, off animated feature will now release in 2023, having found a new home at Netflix, a new production company, and new directors. So it's a totally, totally new thing coming from production house as Annapurna Pictures that did Missing Link and Sausage Party. There's so many jokes. So many jokes. So, my, so much there. Anyway. Uh, Nimona gets a sausage party to revive Nimona, the big screen adaptation of the best-selling graphic novel that came from Blue Sky originally. Best-selling quotes. Yeah. So now uh, DNG, uh, DNEG Ron's Gone Wrong is animating it out of London with Blue Sky veterans uh, and Spies in Disguise directors Nick Bruno and Troy Quain at the helm. Um, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Here's, here's the synopsis. A knight is framed for a crime he didn't commit, and the only person who can help him prove his innocence is Nimona, a shape-shifting teen who might also be a monster he's sworn to kill. Uh, set in a techno-medieval world unlike anything animation has tackled before, except for He-Man, except for She-Ra. This, yeah. <laughs> this is a story about the labels we assign to people and the shape-shifter oh, who refuses to be defined by I'm anyone. I'm betting like you're right. I think this is going to be an allegory. Uh, for N.D. Stevenson, yes. formerly known as Noel Stevenson. But it is their own thing, so I can't really... You know, got Chloe Grace. I think it's funny they keep to keep trying to like, you know, oh, everybody wanted this. No. Yeah. No, they didn't. Lumberjanes people wanted, but the Mona wasn't one of the things that people were clamoring for. Um, you know, good on Stevenson for leveraging their position to get themselves picked up somewhere else. But you know, and, and I guess that again, the comic you said wasn't bad. No, the comic wasn't I never bad. read it. I, I read it. it actually... I saw the behavior of the person on Twitter and I was like, I'm not reading well, your stuff. Okay, see that actually played into it because, you know, I, I was reading the comic. We were, you know, big in the web comics, you know, back in the day, 10, 12, 15 years ago. And, um, you know, everybody was reading the Mona and I, I was reading well, it. I'm like, it's not actually, everybody, but... not everybody, but I, it was, it was highly recommended. No, I'm like, it's oh, not I'm like, no, the reason everybody kept highly recommending it was because they were all like, oh my gosh, did you hear that Stevenson got a publishing deal? Yes. Which there's some weirdness about that. We're not going to talk about well, here. That's a whole nother but thing. That's why people were talking about it in yes. the web comic circles. The reason people, the, some people were, right, were talking about it cause they liked it. That's true. But a lot of people were talking about it because Stevenson supposedly already used webcomics to get a publishing deal. Yes and no. But, you know, that's what most people were, were looking at it for because they're like, oh, we want to get a publishing deal too. And that's a lot of what had to do with it. Yeah. And yeah, there was there was a lot of weirdness around that whole situation. It did feel sort of, you know, that the uh, the PR machine was on firing mm -hmm. on all four cylinders back then. Still uh, is. Still is. You can, which you too can do with the right amount of money. You too can. You can just pay yeah. for it. It's easy. Uh, but look, uh, Nimona turns into a shark with tits. So there's there's that uh, shark mm, with tits. Well, that's going to be problematic. That's going to be problematic. We're going to have tits on the shark. And anyway, um, so yeah. Can you milk a shark? <laughs> can you milk a shark? Shark milk. 
Anyway, uh, yeah, so it's interesting to see this get picked up. I'm, I'm not surprised, uh, to be completely honest. We said it got canceled before, but like they were not going to let this particular thing uh, die current year, mm -mm. I, I'm, I'm sure. I, well, I was hoping, like I said before, that given that Stevenson had connections and this got picked up and they were complaining about the pay, I would hope that Stevenson used that opportunity to demand better working conditions and pay for the people that are involved in this show and didn't just make a deal for themselves because that's what they would all demand of others. That is true. Um, set the set the standard. There you go. So maybe maybe there are better working conditions. But yeah, it was you know it's pretty uh, uh, disgusting to see Disney come in and just shut down Blue Sky. Yeah, they day. they really scrapped a bunch of things. Like the Mouse Guard was one of them, and there yeah they they came in when they bought. That's why I'm like, what are you buying exactly? They bought Fox basically just to shut down three quarters of Fox and then ruin the IP that they didn't halt. You know, and mm -hmm. and uh, it was it was weird, but yeah, they had a lot of movies in production, uh, not just animated movies, but live action movies, and some of them actually did look pretty good, and they're just gone. So I, you know, again, I'm surprised they're starting over, completely starting over. With well, they might moment. not have the rights to that stuff. That's probably That's true. Probably, Disney's uh, Disney got has it, yeah. the rights to that. So if you want to use it, we'll release the title, but you have to do it all again. Because I mean, I don't think they're just going to hand that over out of the goodness of their hearts. No, Disney, no doesn't, Disney doesn't do anything out of the goodness So of they'd universe. rather just like bury it and scrap it than hand it over. Um, but the art doesn't look too bad. If that's the new art style, um, that is a, a, a marked difference from the comic in a good way. Um, the, the synopsis sounds pretty cool, other than the fact that, you know, they're going to mandate the hell out of it. I, I'm sure there are going to be significant changes. There always are every time they adapt a graphic novel, um, you know, for sure. And it doesn't sound like Stevenson's that directly involved with it. But Stevenson, you know, it's a, it's, it's Stevenson's own thing. So we're going to judge it a different way than we judge she or something like that. That's already existing audience. And, and the way that was the behavior around that was just atrocious. Um, which I think, you know, hey, you kind of deserve to carry that around with you because you, you already kind of proved that you don't care. But uh, this one will be fair. You know, if yeah, it comes out, yeah. I don't know if I'll watch it, to be honest. But if we do, we'll, we'll be fair about it. Um, I am I'm trying to say nice things about it here. I have so many other animated movies I need to watch. I mean, there's there's like a, a freaking pile of movies that I have not had time to watch. I like it, this guy in the cape. That's Lord Blackheart. Oh. Ballister Blackheart. Wow, that was a that was a hard one to come up yeah, with. Yeah, then we've got Ambrosius Golden Loins. That's the the good guy in the Black Knight, but they're actually kind of reversed. I kind of gathered. Yeah. Any anyway, anyway, we'll we'll see. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how I'm it goes. I'm trying to get past the names. Okay. I'm, it's better try than, I'm trying to be nice. It's better than like Golden Dick, you know. That's basically what it means. Mr. Mr. Golden Dick. Ambrosius. Like Amber, like Amber, like it's fruit of the gods. Fruit Ambrosia. Of the loins. Golden loin. Golden dicks. For it's the, the fruit piece. of the gods, golden dick. He's got he's got a golden dick, so he's got his cod piece. So yeah, this is gonna be great for all ages. We'll we'll see what happens. <laughs> I don't know why her legs are so thick. She's thick. She's thick. She's thick. She can shape shift, so she can be she can be fit at any size. That's right. All right, we gotta wrap this up. Yes. All right. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye. Now he's just tasty, delicious, rotten flesh meat, which I can consume. Don't read into it too much. Just like our museum, the cafe it's open and brewed through it, eager to serve. I don't think this was in the show. Run, 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 run. Oh, you got splatted. No. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh she was begging and what? you kicked her in the face. I don't care. Hey guys, Squid King here. And today we're in a- Not girl boss, not girl boss at all. She is not a material girl. She is not. Oh, it's Christmas time here in your mom. Nobody wants to join your mom. What? Like I can't even cook kid cuisine right. I would last about two minutes with Gordon Ramsay. What? Where is he? He's hiding. He's hiding from you. He better. Oh my God, you got the ax. Walker, does this look like Steven Universe? Let me punch him. Well, I'm just here for the wax. Okay. Ah! Right where you belong. Get in the dirt. Well, that was a combination of events I probably shouldn't have put together. Anyways, let's open this bottle too. Chica Pinata. Is that official? Oh, no. There's a bootleg. Hello. Hey guys, it's Diamond Tool. Let's make a farm. Like and subscribe and buy my merch. 
I mean, while you're here, you guys should like really like and subscribe and buy our merch, all of which we have. <laughs> that is true. You can't run them carrying trash. You can get away with one F-bomb per PG-13 movie. Oh, I wish I'd yeah. known that sooner. Yeah. All right, so we're going to wrap this effort up. Yes. <laughs>